Well, hello everyone. It's Anetia Fairy Dust Nails. And I'm really, really sorry for not posting a video for such a very long time. Uh, just to share with you guys, I had a bit of a family crisis. And it's all better now. Um, and then on top of that, I also got a very bad skin allergy. And I'm trying to still heal of that. But with no further ado, and uh, uh, we're going to start, and I'm going to call it the gold range. There's going to be a part one, two, and three, and maybe a part four, where we're going to do one nail at a time. Very, very easy steps to follow. And uh, yes, let's get started. This one will be the gold range the one with the golden flakes. So I'm going to show you quickly what I have done is the golden flakes that you do get, you know, like the metal paper. I have mixed some of that into acrylic and we are going to try and layer it and make a complete gold nail but with layers to look like it is 3D with these golden pieces in it. I've never done it before. It's just an idea that I've come up with. And let's see if we can get that done. Okay, so the nail is prepped there. And we are going to start by doing this gold nail. Okay, and so here we go. I've got the monomer and I've got the flakes ready here. I've mixed it with a clear, a clear acrylic. So what we're going to do is I'm going to work with little bits of uh, clear acrylic and the gold. And we're going to try and layer it little bit by little bit so that it actually looks like we're going to have a solid gold nail. You'll see I've broken them up into small little pieces with the acrylic so that it actually sticks proper little bit of clear acrylic over you see that this is going to be a trial and error one we're going to learn together today so let's see how it comes out Oh, now I'm battling with that little piece to get it off. So let's just pull it off. There we go. And uh, I'm going to pick up that little piece. Maybe put it on the side here. Like that. Try and put little pieces in. It must have a little bit of a see through effect. But what we're going to do now is take clear and put um, a bead of clear over, and then we're going to lay down another layer of gold flakes. So let's see what happens. Oops, it's running. It's winter here in South Africa. It's kind of cold. So as you guys know, then you battle with the acrylic to set. Try and drain your bead at the back to make your acrylic not run as much. Maybe just another gold piece. There. If we can get it up. There we go. I'm just going to take a little bit of gold glitter kind of thing and fill up some of the gaps 
so that we it's also an acrylic that I've mixed it's a glitter very very fine glittered gold dust that I've mixed with clear acrylic for this video that we're actually making so that we can have all the gold effects that we can think of this is the thing of you play around and you take your time okay first layer is done i think what we should do is try and put another layer of maybe gold flakes but i'm going to try and pick up smaller pieces so that it actually overlaps a little bit of clear acrylic we want that 3d effect you know so that it looks like it's gold on top of gold on top of gold And this is going to be a case of playing with your product more and more and uh, we will layer it little bit by little bit. We want to take it right up to the side. I think it's actually starting to look good. I think what we should do is maybe try another little small piece or so. Yeah, at the tip of the nail. To overlap. Like that. And maybe another little piece there. I'm trying to pick up tiny little pieces. Let's break it up here. And let me just break it up to get a tinier little piece. And I do want to put it at the end here. Like that. Okay, so now we're going to encapsulate so that we do not buff off the design. Now is also the perfect time to build your arch and give it the strength we need it. And as you guys know, I do live videos. Um, I edit a little bit afterwards, but I want you guys to see as I do and not cut out too much because this is how we learn. We all make mistakes. And we all, uh, uh, you know, want to see what all the problems are that can happen with things like this. And, uh, yeah, so I think this is going to be an awesome nail. Once it's got the top coat on, it will be magnificent. I'm just pushing down on the acrylic at the back to get it too close to the cuticle but not on top of the cuticle and there we go i think this is gorgeous we're just going to wait for it to dry then we will buff and top coat okay so if you tap on it you can hear that it's dry okay so now we're buffing and filing i always start off you know my routine routine by now it is sidewalls free edge cuticle area and I'm doing that with my glam pro 180 grid because I want it kind of fine
I'm not a frame. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, with these silicone fingers that's on the stand, it's not easy to always keep it protected and in frame. Checking from the front that it's thick, it, the same thickness everywhere. Make sure that we take that little bit of a thing out at the front. Make sure that it's straight. There we go. Take off your dust. We want the background nice and clean. There we go. And I think we should be done. I actually should have put a little bit more there. But there is one at the bottom that's going to show through. So let's see what it looks like. I'm going to top coat quickly. I'm going to use Planet Nice Precision Gel Polish Top Coat. It's called Diamond Top. It's a non-tacky layer top coat. So how I do this is put the brush in the middle, lift it up a little bit so that it's straight, so that it makes a rounding. And it takes on the shape of the cuticle area perfectly. Go close, but not let it run into the cuticle. And... Uh, Everyone, I must admit, this nail is looking gorgeous. It's really, really nice for an accent nail. So, now that I've got the top coat on, press there, go there, pull down, one stroke, nice and softly. There we go. I'm going to cure this, and then I will take pictures of the end result put it at the front and at the end of this video and i am so glad that i'm back you guys to make your videos this is part one for the first golden nail part two and how many parts we still going to do to gold nails there's many ideas that's going to come up we're going to call it the gold range so it'll be coming up in the next day or two so have a fantastic day and i'll speak to you soon Cheers, everyone. Bye-bye.